Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And yesterday we read how Jesus rejected the oral law of the Jews, which had become the tradition of the elders, how the Pharisees had put the oral law on an equal footing with the revealed law of God. Today in St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 9 through 13, our Lord provides another example of this practice. Today, Jesus uses the example of God's law to honor your father and mother. The practice of honoring your father and mother meant then and should now includes caring for them when they are no longer able to support themselves. But according to the tradition of the elders, this was no longer necessary if you gave money or property to the temple. This practice is called the korban. Jesus rejects this notion. Let's hear what Jesus has to say in Mark 7, verses 19 through 13. But before we do, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, the trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now from St. Mark. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God, in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And he who speaks evil of father or mother, let him surely die. But you say, if a man tells his father or his mother, what you would have gained from me is korban, that is, given to God. Then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition which you hand on. And many such things you do the Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow, and may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.